Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here. In this next um, follow-up tutorial, this will just be a nice short and sweet tutorial, but I wanted to separate it from the other two. That way, if you needed to quickly reference back how to easily prepare your image for the PhotoSnap tool, you only have to watch a, a video that's a few minutes long, okay? So it's a shorty, but it's a goodie. So here we have that image, that tree image that we found on Google Images, and we have imported it into uh, the Art Canvas side, which as you know is Corel Draw, and it's on the screen. And you can see by the little dialog, the little boxes here, the selection boxes, and you can see also over in the Object Manager that the photo is selected. And if your photo is selected, now what we want to do is we want to change the brightness and the contrast of the photo itself or the image itself because we want to really have high contrast for the photo snap tool to work as efficient as it possibly can. Now if I zoom in to show you here, if I zoom in on this tree, you can see that there, this was drawn with a marker and so you can see, see all these pixels where you have some are dark and some are lighter than others, all these different shades of gray, okay? We, we want to get rid of all those shades of gray and we want just basically black and white. We want to eliminate all the gray tones. You can do that by using, and I'll zoom in just a little bit here so it's easier to see. There. We can do that by utilizing some of the effects or tools that are in the Corel Draw Art Canvas site. To easily do that, once your photo is selected, let's go up to the Effects menu and click that dude. And then you'll have a drop down menu and the first option says Adjust. If you hover over Adjust, you'll then see, if we go to the right, you'll see there are a few other options one option being brightness, contrast, intensity. Now if we left click that, we'll have a little box that'll pop up and you can move that box to wherever you want but you can see that we have three options. We have brightness, we have contrast, and we have intensity. And then there's a little sliding bar for each one of those options. We can manually change the brightness, contrast, and intensity of this object. So the first one that I'm going to do is the contrast. I'm going to just grab this handlebar and slide it to the right, say here at about 52 or wherever, and then I'm going to hit the preview button and it'll give me a preview of what that looks like. And you can see it took away uh, a lot of the shades of gray and gave me more black, but I still see some. So maybe I'll just slide this dude all the way over, hit preview, and now we're really zooming in. We're really honing in on really strong contrasting colors. Maybe I want to play with the brightness. Maybe I'll bring the brightness down a little bit and hit preview. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I brought, so what I did, I increased the contrast quite a bit and I brought the brightness down a little bit and hit preview. And you can see we pretty much have just black and white at this point. And that, that is really going to pop. It's really going to make it easy for the Photo Snap tool to do its magic. So this is really the preparation of the photo. How you want to pre prepare the photo or the image that you find on Google Images inside the Art Canvas. Just using that little tool right there. So I'll hit OK. Alright, I'll hit OK. And I'll zoom back out and you can see that really, that really pops. That's highly contrasting at this point. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image on over to the embroidery canvas and we'll pick up from there. So do not, here's, here's a, a helpful tent, uh, hint, do not convert this image, do not, and I repeat, do not go and click this button here to bring it over into the embroidery canvas. If you accidentally click that button, and we've all done it before, you'll just have a little spinning wheel and the program will lock up and you'll have to force it closed by uh, 
control alt deleting or whatever it's it's not going to do anything if you have a large photo so to go to the art to take this photo to the art canvas now or to the embroidery canvas now I'm just gonna go up and click embroidery canvas that that button right there left click that and there we go now I'm gonna stop here because we have prepared the image and now the next thing that we're going to do is actually play with the photo snap tool so I'm gonna stop here for that and now you can once you're comfortable with this move on to my third video which is showing you how to actually use the photo snap tool okay we'll see you on the next video